So physical fitness is important. And when we talk physical fitness, when we talk readiness, you know, there's a lot of elements to physical fitness. You know, we're not saying you have to go run a marathon every weekend. Um, but you do have to be physically fit. So our physical fitness is one of the things that we rely on best to be ready because it springboards into everything else. We talk uh, medical readiness to, you know, make sure that we're up to date on our annual physicals, our immunizations, taking care of ourselves properly if we are feeling ill one day and not just sloughing it off and saying, oh, I'll get over it. Take Intercept, take care. Spiritual readiness, when we talk about it, isn't necessarily tied to your religion or implying that you need to have a religion. It is your spiritual readiness within yourself. What are you using within yourself to, you know, relieve your stress, find your calm, um, and we draw from our warrior ethos, as you had mentioned, um, our warrior spirit, you know, that we're raised with from the beginning. That spiritual readiness must be with us at all times. And the tie to family readiness is your ombudsman or your key person or your branch services uh, equivalent. The CO and the CMC will contact the ombudsman in open communication and they'll give them the information that they need to help the families get through that period of, of non-communication. So do you have a contingency plan? What is your backup plan? If you're TAD for three weeks or five days and you get extended on that TAD, what's your backup plan for your home, for your, your family, your child care? It's very important, in fact, critically important that you have an up-to-date, at-the-ready family care plan. So we have to be ready 24-7 for the unexpected and not leave that to our families to have drop in their laps. Don't wait until that moment comes up unexpectedly. Have it ready now. Pre-planning is critical to family readiness. Professional readiness includes preparation for your advancement exams for those who take them, for your professional qualification standards or your PQS, um, by keeping up with your damage control, your 3M training, uh, professional military education or PME that's available on NKO, and getting ahead of the game and not struggling to keep up with the game in your professional arena. You have to stay in that learning mode. And I found out through the last 31 years that by doing the GMT regularly and by doing, you know, courses that aren't related to my rate online or, you know, doing things that challenge my skill set or my brain to learn something new, whether it's learning chess or it's learning a next level in damage control. It's keeping my mind active and in a learning mode. And that's what professional readiness is about. Knowing everything that you can about your rate at the pay grade level that's expected and in the next level expected so that you're prepared to enter that next level. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.